this group we have been looking for, not only have they placed well thought out attacks all across the world, they are also in Minimum Trafficking. I was able to track some of them down. Even though I did that, they're always one step ahead. When I arrived back, I learned that my wife and kid were burned alive in our home. I arrived, I was too late. I loved my wife and kid. of my wife and child. I started spiraling out of control until Kyrie, James Ellison's wife, showed up. She had been investigating the case of my wife and kid and gave me the news.
Yes, Lily. It's really me. We saved her. But now it's time for me to go off the grid. So I can protect my daughter. I said my goodbyes to the entire team. And I said my final goodbye to Kyrie and thanked her for helping me save my daughter. And I also told her to keep watch on Derek Ellison. We are back with NCAA 14. Look at our impact player, James Brown. And you know what it is, man. We run a basic, simple off, you know, offense. Read option, HB dive. And then once you get those running, the deep ball. That's all we do all game, man. James Ellison is keeping it simple for his players. And it's working. We're, we're winning. With a really not that great of a team we're playing on Hall of Fame default and we're ranked number 19 in the country and look at Brown throw that football he is an absolute monster so a quick slant right here to Eric Lewis he was wide open right here Tyrone Richardson adding him to the team was a great boost one player can really make a difference and like I always say we do have a few standout players in Brown Richardson and Douglas and uh, Alfonso Miles and you know another you know strong James a couple of our receivers that really stand out but right here we're showing the kickoff and you know what that means look at that you know that's you know come on you know that's not even right. Hawaii 98 yard kickoff return right there. 7-7 seven, seven game. That's alright. Thomas Ross. Look at Thomas Ross go. Oh, look at that move. He gave him the whoop. Man. I remember I used to try to do that whoop. <laughs> During my teenage years, my voice would always crack. But I think I can do it now. Look at that, Richardson, wide open, look at this, there is no way he was not down, I, I, I am lost for words, NCAA has given me that touchdown, Tyrone Richardson, look at the replay, look at the replay right here, Tyrone Richardson was clearly, clearly, clearly down, he hurdles, look at this, Look at this. Is James Ellison out here paying the refs? No way in the world should that be a touchdown. But they are giving it to us and they don't even review it. Is James Ellison out here paying the refs? And I want to talk a little bit about this. Mate, come on now. Come on now. Look at this. This is ESPN Top 10 ESPN top 10 in the next 10 years in the next decade this is the best play in college football history look at that he was down all the way his butt his legs his back everything 
was on the ground and yet it is a touchdown and yes I do want to talk a little bit about the intro scene storyline yes uh, looks like Detective Jones is leaving the story for a while and it's up to everybody else with this shadow group that's everywhere so there's a lot more stuff coming. I am waiting for certain games to come out, which is the reason why this episode took so long. But I came up with another idea, which is what you saw. But there are some other games that do need to come out for this story. I think they come along really nicely. We're just getting into the getting into the the, the meetup. So four from one. Of course, almost get the sack right there, but it doesn't matter. Tyrone Richardson with the deflection. Look at that. Look at that play recognition. He knew exactly where the ball was going. He doesn't even hesitate. And if he was just, well, if he was a step quicker, he might have got a pick. And a pick six. So here we go again. Read option. Brown's going to take it himself. There he is. Oh, look at that cut. He's going to try to do the hurdle cheese. It's not going to work for him though. 40 yards though. Can't complain. Look at that. Oh, he thought he had Sean James open. A little flat line, man. Interception. And you know, we have blown leads. We have blown big leads. They didn't do anything with the ball. But again, another interception. That's two picks for Brown today. Despite his crazy numbers, he's got uh, quite a few fumbles. Uh, not really that many picks, but he has thrown a, he has thrown a fair share of a turnover. So, either way, he still got Heisman, Heisman numbers. He's going to win the Heisman guard. And third and goal, fourth and goal. Look at that defense, man. This defense was really struggling earlier in the year, but adding Tyler Richardson was, like I said, a great boost, man. I mean, we put up, I mean, FCS was able to put up like 40 on us or something like that. We still won. But FCS, 40 points on us. That's how bad our defense was. Again, Tom Richardson. And Tom Richardson again, pretty much. So that's all you gotta throw it to. Him or Alfonso Miles, they get the job done. And the reason why Chuck Daniels is in the game right there is because Brown did get hurt. And right here, ooh, look at that step back. Thomas Ross. Play action, acting like he was gonna run. Doesn't matter. He's gonna throw it on the one. Sean James. Probably the fourth best player on the team. Sean James doing what it, he needs to do to get in the end zone. He saw the quarterback was indeed in trouble. And he goes straight for the end zone. Nice throw on the run by Brown right there. First and goal, halfback screenplay. I rarely ever call it. Gets me into the end zone, 10 yard reception. And look at this hit. Tyron Richardson with the recovery. Who made the hit though? Who made the hit? Ooh, I didn't even see who the uh, number four. I don't know who that is. But he made the hit and Richardson got the recovery. So here we go again. Sticking on uh, Tyron Richardson, easy. Pitch and catch 14 yard touchdown reception right there. Look at Brown, 15 for 27, 280 yards. I think that's at five touchdowns. And here we go, Brown. This is getting ugly, folks. Read option all the way to the promised land. Man, that was one play right there to the end zone. And he broke a record for the longest run in school history, I think. So here we go again. Thomas Ross, one play. Another. You know he's gone. Ain't nobody going to catch Thomas Ross. Another one play drive. That's two in a row. That's two one-play drives in a row. This is getting really ugly. It's already 60 to 16. This team is looking really good. Ellison is a great coach to turn this team cupcake school. But here we go. 
Here we go again, man. Sean James, third one play drive in a row. And here we go. You know what it is. Tyrone Richardson with the interception. Look at that pick by Tyrone Richardson, man. It is 68 to 23. Showing their scores, it's not even worth it anymore, man. It's so trash. Hawaii did not play good against us. Look at that pick, man. That is crazy concentration. It went right through the receiver's hands and ended up in Tyrone Richardson. I mean, look at that. Look at that pick. And here we go. Fourth. One play drive in a row. Come on, man. Come on. We, we got to end this. Cut the show. 74. Come on. We hung 70 on them. That's it. That's it. It's time for them to get out of here. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg, Ether, and that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. My brother and my niece are safe, but it looks like from the information I have gathered that we're dealing with some sort of cabal, deep state, shadow group called the Hidden Hand.